I don't think it is actually, because I think what's happening is that, you know, having been doing this for so long, what happens is the pendulum swings, you know, in, in favor of certain trends, and then it kind of swings the other way. And then sometimes it settles in the middle. It's a lot like, it reminds me a lot of politics. I mean, you, you think just when you think one political party is going to dominate forever, you know, they end up getting killed in an election. And then, you know, the, the population moves the other direction politically. It's, it's sort of the same thing with a lot of these tech trends. I think right now the pendulum is clearly swinging toward cloud, but we're seeing some cracks in that foundation or chinks in the armor because now companies are realizing, wait, if we swing too far to the cloud, especially public cloud, we're watering down our competitive advantage. We've got vendor lock. We don't have control of our data. We're not sure what's going to happen to our data, you know, in terms of intellectual property and whatnot. We're training these data models that our competitors are also using. So maybe we should bring some of the stuff back in house. And I think that pendulum will come back and settle somewhere in the middle. Uh, but right now it's swinging pretty hard towards towards public cloud. So we'll see. I mean, a lot of people disagree with me and don't think on-premise will ever come back and that on-premise is dead. I don't think it is actually. I think there will be a time where we come back and say, you know what, cloud's great for some things, but there's some things that we should keep on-prem, especially for like, there's some areas where it's just not ever going to go to the cloud because, you know, you've got regulatory issues. So I think there's a lot of trends or a lot of things that will cause that pendulum to settle back in the middle somewhere more of a balance.